when we look at a candle, the two most obvious prices are the open and the close. This is not accidental. Japanese candlestick analysis says that these are the two most emotional times of the trading day, the times most governed by fear and greed. If you have an interest in the stock market, you'll have most probably heard of the January barometer. This tells us that how the S&P 500 does in the first few weeks gives us a reliable indication of the direction of the market for the year as a whole. When Japanese candlesticks were being developed, Japan had a very martial culture. It was natural for them to see the trading day as a battleground between the forces of buyers and sellers, and the opening positions and shots in any battle can be of vital significance. Likewise, at the end of the trading day, pressure forces the hand of many traders. They might be thinking of targets that must be met, or the danger of missing opportunities. Now, these considerations hold true for the majority of exchanges, but of course, on Forex, we've got 24-hour trading. The world spins round, exchanges start trading, and others stop for the day. Openings merge into closings, which in turn merge into fresh openings. It's all very zen. It's difficult to know where the beginnings and the ends are. The only things we can say for sure on a Forex market are that we must take all four key prices into consideration and we can only be certain of a candlestick's length and colour only after it has been formed. Let's get on to the candlesticks themselves. We'll start by taking a look at the doji. This means unskillfully made. Unskillfully because they don't have a body, merely a horizontal line. We get doji when the open price and the close price are equal. This is usually taken as a sign that the bulls and the bears are well matched and their meeting resulted in a draw in this period. Doji signal indecision. Prices closed where they opened, on as even. Let's take a closer look at the conditions that form the doji. Let's say that price grows after the open. What we see forming here is known as a morobotsu, which means shaven, because it doesn't have any shadows. The bulls seem to be gaining the upper hand, but then the bears counter-attack, price falls, and the candlestick body turns black. What we can see now is called the inverted hammer, or the shooting star. But finally, the bear's counter-attack fades, price is rise once more, and at the end of the period, price closes at the same, or almost the same level, at which it opened. Voila! The doji. This type is known as the long-legged doji, or the rickshaw man. Skilled traders understand the doji to mean caution. It signals uncertainty. It's time to consider closing any open positions. The doji is especially significant if you believe you're at the top or the bottom of the market. The rickshaw's man's crossbar is always roughly central. The candle should be long. Remember, the rickshaw man merely means indecision, and the trend could reverse, could go into a range, or who knows. If you get a doji at the top of the market that looks like the top half of the rickshaw, you've got a stronger signal of indecision. This doji is the consequence of a draw too, but it forms when the only price push of the period was bullish. As this doji is found on an uptrend, it means that for a number of days in succession, the bulls had the upper hand. Only this time, they attacked, but the ground they gained in their charge was cancelled out 
by a bearish counter move. The stoji is known as the gravestone. It was named in the days when traders could only make money on a rise in prices and it buried all hope for future profit. At the bottom of the market we can find inverted gravestones. They go by the name of the dragonfly, a symbol of the promise of summer and easy living. The dragonfly signals the reverse of a downtrend. Prices may well take flight up and away in a beautiful flash of jewel-like colour. The signal gains force if more than one doji occurs on strong support levels or channel lines, resistance levels or trend lines. But my friends, fools rush in and it's not a bad idea to wait for further confirmation. In this case we get a couple of hammers, more of hammers later and a strong move up and it's time to get stuck in and make some money. The beauty of Japanese candlesticks is that one single candle has the potential to predict future price action for days or even weeks ahead. Mm -hmm.